This was the other one you mentioned mm. had a fire internally. Yes. Frost on the roof. I think we've got back to North Weald here. This is the mm. new roofs having been tiled in. Yes, and, that, and this is Latin. Mm -hmm. So we're dodging between the two. Yes. That was a highly coloured ceiling we did there. Looks like Alf in the white overalls. Alf Aaron. That's yes, Alf, that's isn't Alf, it? Definitely. Oh, ah. This is at North Weald. That was a stone head of Brian Linnet that mm. was done by Bert Rushbrook. And the other, that window has got the vicar's two mm. children on it. Mm -hmm. Looks rather cold. Hmm. Ah, oh, now a change. This is the house we built for Doctor and Mrs. Patrick at the ridge, yes. opposite uh, Wayside. Dear old Wilf. Nice picture of Wilfred. That's snow on his shoulders. <laughs> More sawdust. Another one of Brian Johnson. Still at Patrick's house, I suspect, yep. with a look at those windows. Yes. Tomo made those windows, I remember. Oh, I think the things you remember. Alan, Alan Rose. Rose, look. Yeah. As a boy. Again. Peter, Peter Linnet. And Peter Hodge again. Now this is in uh, Rectory Woods, the, the house we built for Richardson, Richardson of... Noahlite, was it? Some strange... What, the no blocks? Noahlite, yeah. It, it was some Granite material type. made by English china clays in oh, Cornwall. Okay. No, Rephamite. 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 Cedar. No, teak. I think it was teak, teak external body. cladding, yeah. Mm. Very expensive. But that house still looks well. Mm. I don't know whether Richardson still lives there. No. Well, it took a lot of drying out. Did it? Wood. Yes, I think you're right. This looks an earlier stage than the previous view we had of it. George that, Hart, was it? Yes, that was George. I don't know who it was in the background. No. That's Eric's back. Eric Burgess. <laughs> Very skillful bricklayer. Now that's the one whose name I cannot remember. Ted Sill, that yes. was. Yeah, that must be early in his time in the firm. And Keith Green. He's now two trees, isn't he? Has been for years, hasn't he? Where are we? Still at Longwood, I thought. Could be, yes.
No. Can't name him. Can't remember his That's name. Mrs. Parrot. Mrs. Parrot up the ladder. Oops. Charlie Brazier. In, in the workshop now. Charlie Brazier there working. Yeah. And Morris Bardwell. This is the old workshop. Yes. On the road frontage before we. So it before must the bank. have been. Yes. Quite early. I think mm. we're still in the 60s. That's Chris, Chris Masterson. Dillis, is it? Yes, in the office again with Dillis. Uh -huh. Mr. P. Job tickets, look. <laughs> Happy memories. Sad. Don't know who he was. Alf. That's Alf, looking young and slim. Where is he? Kelvin? Don't know where that was. Lingwood View. That's Pete Miles, is it? No, perhaps not. I'm sure. That's Ernie Kemp. Crikey. He started on the firm in 1911. Again, as a horse boy, I think, wasn't he? Mm. I think this is Lingwood, isn't it? Yes, I recognise that fireplace. And that's Bill Hazel again, the yep. other side of the doorway. A couple of real old ones there. Steve's Corner Pond. Before the office extension was done, so this is fairly early. And we three. <laughs> yes, we, uh, we're back into the, well back to the early 60s, I suspect. Yes. Bill Cross again. Could oh. be. In the workshop, do you think? Don't know. No, that's no. Eddie Webb. That's right, yes, that is. And that's Robin Stockwell. Yeah. In the workshop. Yes. This is one of the earliest ones we've seen, I think. That's Gordon Baines, isn't it? It's before my time. Was he ah, gone yes. his I, I was going to say, it could be the late 50s. Yeah. That's Ron, Ron Baker, Baker and yeah. the Blue Ford van. Yes, we are well back yeah. in the 50s, yeah. I think. I never knew that. Ron was the electrician. That's Charlie at the far end and Wilfred this end. In the days when we stocked a considerable quantity of oak. Mm. That's a good Will. one of Wilfred again. And Charlie. Mary. And that's Mary Raven. Now she left at the end of 62. That's Robin Moss. He left just before I came, I think. And that's Horace on the left. That must be myself and Mr. Parrot look. Yep. Rolling down the yard. <laughs> now this is Horndon on the hill, I think. These are still all before your time, are they? I think so, yes. Yes, that's Horndon on the hill. We re-shingled this. We took boarding off and put shingles on the spire there. That's John Miller in the front. He died, didn't he? Yeah. Quite young. Shingling. Who's at the back? Looks like don't know. Mitch, does it? Mm, a bit, but I don't think it is. Mitred brooches or something in the corner there. Mitred hips. That brew up. It could be Mitch. Didn't realise he went out on site. No. There's somebody at the top of the spire. Well, if it was an apprentice, I suppose he would have done. George Hart. Yes. 
before his days as lorry driver, I suspect, when he was painting. That, I would say, is Brian Linnett. Yes. Yes, well done. John Miller again. Mm -hmm. And that's Alf Harron. George Hart on the left. Looks like Morris Bardwell, doesn't it? Yes. Extreme left now, who's that? Don't know. to the Thames, I would guess, there. Would that be from Horndon? Yes. Well, That's now we know clue. where we are. <laughs> Frank Frost. <laughs> As ever. Exposing his all. Is that Tony? Could be. Tony Barnard, do you think? Could be. I don't know. Ah, I remember this. The days before mechanical hoists. <laughs> that main beam for the tower roof. Mm -hmm. Going up the hard way. How do you cope with it when it gets there? <laughs> One might ask. Hmm. And on the ground turns it for you, hope. Yes. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, after you run up the church tower, you then have to pull it on. <laughs> George Rushbrook, I see there, and Bill Hazel, look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hope it's long enough now they got it up. Peter Linnett. Joe Vale.
John Perry up there. There he is. Mm -hmm. I think that battlement got struck by lightning, I recall. That's Mrs. Parrot there. And a view from the belfry window. That, oh, Burr, his name was, wasn't it? it? Yes. Somebody him. Burr. I mean, this is all before he my was time. a labourer. I don't remember any of this. Now, this is at Woodham Mortimer Churchyard, the Chamberlain tomb. Peter Chamberlain was a surgeon or something, and uh, Bert had to reassemble. That's Billy Wicker, I believe, with him. They had to reassemble the tomb, and then it was all the lettering was painted. That's Fred Annitz. Mm -hmm. I remember him. Ah, uh, now we've gone to Hempstead. That was 1961, I think we did. Mm -hmm. Hempstead Tower, if that's the one we're on. Harvey. Yes, Wouldn't William Harvey, another surgeon. Mr. Perrett going up the ladder. Oh Wouldn't gosh. Didn't really go as quick as that. Wow. Mechanisation. Yes. First hoist. That's Albert Rushbrook, Bert's brother. I didn't realise we had any pictures of him. Albie. Yes. And George Rushbrook. And Jack Hazel. This was the church we built a new top on. The, t the tower had collapsed many years ago and been rebuilt to nave roof level in about the 30s. And we put a top 40 feet on the top of it. Mm. Dick Turpin's pub in Hempstead Village. That looks like Walter Abbey again. It is Walter Abbey. Other fails. Yeah, we're on to the um, Lady Chapel there, but the looks of No, this was the early stages of it, I think. 61, 61 this would have been. This must have been the one I climbed over with you, I reckon. No, I think that was towards the end of it. Still seem to be at Walter Mabby. Yes, this is the um, South East Chapel. I think this was the early stages of the job. That's Joe Vale. Another one of Albert Rushbrook, isn't it? Yes. I think 
we're back at Hampstead. of St. Giles, yes. <laughs> Smile, Dick. That's Tom, Tom Blenko. He died a month or two before retirement, I think. And that's one of the Marsh brothers. Um, they joined us from the firm at Malden that we bought. We can't place that. Unless it's still uh, more hall, Holmes is from Giles or something. Uh, that's Miss Russell's bungalow? Could be. It? It's, a, it's a Guildway bungalow oh, or a Colt, Colt. bungalow. We one built one at Moor Hall Lane, didn't we? Yes. I think it might be that one. That's Albert Rushbrook again. We also built one at Wickham Bishops. Do you remember that? Yes. Mr. Potts. Potts. Tony Pennock? No, Arthur mm. Pennock oh. this was. I believe. I'm not sure of this. And that's Charlie's father, Puff Brazier. Now, this is a very old film. I haven't seen this before. <laughs> Mr. Perrett having trouble with the mower. He's, oh, got, he's got caught the, up with the tennis, the tennis net. net. <laughs> Wow, somebody's going at it there a bit. <laughs> I think he's been speeded up. Ernie Kemp again. Who it was Where sitting was on it? the... That's Dick Morris, isn't it? 